Welcome to another edition of Digital Marketing 101. I am Solomon Timothy. Today's question is budgeting for marketing. How much do I need? This is a fantastic question. Let's dive in. So marketers every single day are wondering, do I spend $10,000? Is it $20,000? Is it 10% of revenue? Is it 20% of revenue? How much should I be investing in marketing? How much is too little? and how much is too much, how much is just enough. The way that I like you to think about marketing budget is to let's put things into a couple of different buckets because marketing budget is not just a person or a software. Maybe you're paying $10 a month for an email marketing software or some social media tool. How does all this fit into a greater marketing budget? All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple of different buckets to put your cost under. The way that I look at it is first of all, you'll have a team bucket. The people that are doing the marketing assistance for you. Maybe there's a marketing manager, a marketing coordinator, maybe you have a CMO, whatever it is, you'll have a team bucket. The other bucket in my opinion is the tools bucket. This is where your MarTech, marketing technology, anything that you're buying from your email marketing tools, to social listening, maybe social media publishing, maybe your website hosting, whatever else, that will be in the tool section. And the third section I will put it into is the ads, right? Anything that's paid, any kind of purchasing of media would be the ads bucket. And lastly, in depending on the size of your business, you'll have an agency bucket. And now this is a super simplified marketing budget categories. But the reason I'm giving you this is when you're thinking about the whole entire budget, you have to break things into different buckets. If you're looking to generate leads off of your marketing, so if you're trying to get 100 leads, 1000 leads, whatever that might be, it's hard to just say, hey, I need to spend you know, $20 a lead or $50 a lead or $100 a lead times the number of lead and that's my marketing budget, right? So most of the time people say, if I need to generate 10 leads and they're $100, then it's a thousand dollar budget. Simple, but what about the tools that you use to generate the leads? What about the ads? What about the consultant that you had to pay to do that or you have an employee? It's really hard to get the actual cost of lead when you have multiple buckets of cost. Now in the tools bucket, you might have five tools. In the team bucket, you have three people. So you have to consolidate all of this cost to then figure out how many leads were produced to really figure out what the cost per lead is. Once you have that, you can multiply times 10 or times 100 or times 1000 and you can find the marketing efficiency. When it comes to percentage of income, when it comes to percentage of revenue, how much should I allocate into marketing budget? It really depends on the size of your business. If you are a small business, so I'm just gonna put S and B here, you're technically going to be spending a higher percentage of your income than a bigger business. All right, this is just a this is just a fact. SMBs typically spend anywhere from say 12 to 20%. Believe it or not, they spend a lot of their money back into their business. Now, if their revenue is smaller and smaller, they're gonna have to spend a bigger chunk of their revenue on marketing. Now, the bigger the business, so let's say you're an enterprise company, you might be spending somewhere between 6% up to 10 or 12%, depending on how aggressively are they looking to grow. I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say you are a $3 million company and you wanna become a $6 million company. To get to the number of leads that you need to be at $6 million, you cannot invest a percentage of your three million on a small scale, right? So if you want to get to a six million dollar company, you have to invest enough to generate the amount of leads that you need in order to close the business to become a six million dollars is a different percentage of your company than it is right now. Let's say you were a three million dollar company and you're spending 10 percent that's three hundred thousand dollars but three hundred thousand investment isn't going to get you to a six million dollar company that's the math that you simply have to do for yourself saying hey if i'm trying to grow and double my business spending five thousand dollars a month isn't going to make me three million dollars in addition to my current you know revenue that i have so a lot of marketers tend to struggle on this math, which is the percentage of revenue, or maybe they take a percentage of their profit, or their marketing or leadership team kind of comes up with a budget, arbitrary, irrelevant of their revenue or profitability or anything or growth rate, 
they're just sort of coming up with a budget and that's why I get these questions all the time is how much is enough? How much is too little? How much is too much? It really depends on your growth goals. If you are trying to grow at just 10% year over year, then you know that you're probably going to take a percentage of your total revenue, invest back into marketing and say you probably increase that by 10%, right? Just so you say it's $100,000 annually, you're going to give $110,000 because you're trying to grow at it and then invest that $110,000 into whatever the most efficient way to invest that budget. Now, if you're trying to double your business, probably you need to invest $200,000 just because the amount of money that you're gonna need just to stay afloat isn't gonna make you double the company. This is where a lot of marketers sort of get confused and lost and they start wondering, well, if I spend $200,000, am I gonna become a double the size company? Well, it is all based on your comfort level and your marketing efficiency. So if you have a team that is able to drive $2 for every dollar that you invest, what you want to do as the CEO is go ahead and go all in. This is where you go put the pedal to the metal. Invest as much as you can until you have diminishing returns. So most of the time, our conversations with our clients are about investing a certain percentage in agency management fees, the ads that are going to be required to get the number of leads, and also any sort of tools that are required, marketing technology tools, marketing automation, email, from lead nurturing, lead scoring, CRM, anything of that sort is in the tools bucket. And finally, the amount of resources they're gonna to need to have internally, maybe a person to be the one that approves or creates content of, and so on, is how we divide up the budget. And of course, the discussion about how much is really solely based on your revenue and your growth goals. All right, so this is a fantastic question. If you're trying to double and triple and quadruple your business, you're going to have to invest the amount of budgets that are required to get you there. So I hope this video has been valuable. This is a fantastic question. We get this all the time and we're working on building marketing budgets for companies every single day. All right, here at 1IMS, we have over 100 consultants that are deciding what should be done with the marketing, where should we go, do we do Facebook ads, do we do LinkedIn ads, Google ads, whatever those services might be to generate the maximum return on your ad spend, on your investment. So if you have questions on, hey, how much should I be spending on marketing? Should I be spending, should I get this tools? Should I be spending $10,000 on ads or is it gonna be 3,000? Whatever your questions are, reach out to one of our consultants. We'll happily work with you on figuring out what your marketing budget needs to be. And if you like this video, click that like button, consider subscribing, leave me a comment more about what companies should consider when they're developing their marketing budget. I'd love to have a follow-up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.